All right, one very special thing is that last time we had a live festival was 2019, and the Sevastopol Saga was here for the first time, and they're here again, and we want to shout out to the Sevastopol kids. Thank you for being here. Really, they're young adults and on their way to, to amazing things. And in 2019, uh, teacher Lynn Cotty brought up her student, Lynn, um, Lynn brought up her student, Bianca, to speak. And I'd like to bring them both up because I think what they speak of is so much truth that it's the youth that are going through what they're going through. And uh, I'd like Lynn to, to speak a little bit. Hello, Door County, and to all the educators out there that are trying to make our schools a better place and a safer place for everyone. Thank you for all that you do. I have had the immense privilege of teaching some incredible people, and a lot of them are here today. You know who you are. Growing up, we didn't have a GSA or Saga in my school. It was something that was formed after I was gone, and ever since then, I wanted to try to be a part of it. And thankfully for me, I had a bunch of students come to me a couple years ago and said they wanted one. And I said, okay. So myself and guidance counselor Melissa Malcor stepped up and helped them create it. Since then, I cannot tell you how much inspiration I have gathered from these students. It is incredible to see youth standing up for themselves in, as we all know, one of the worst jungles that we can be in, high school. <laughs> it is a difficult place to simply be who you are, but to stand up and shout it, that's a whole nother thing entirely. I do not know where I would be in my teaching career without these students, truly, as an open gay adult in the school system myself. So all I can say to these students is thank you, forever, Thank you for being a part of my life. And it is one of my great pleasures to now introduce to you the president of Sevastopol Saga, Bianca DeLarwell. Hello, everyone. I was here a couple of years ago at my first pride. Oh, sorry. Is this good? <laughs> OK. Hi everyone, I'm so glad to be back. It's nice to see everyone here again um, and really feel all the support and love. Um, I was here, like I said, a couple years ago. I was very scared last time. <laughs> um, still pretty nervous, but um, yeah, I started Saga about four years ago with my friend Ethan and Lily um, because I saw a need for change at our school. Um, I'm a firm believer that um, Hate comes from ignorance. Um, so I felt the need to teach people, and I didn't know how to bring about change. So I went to my teacher, Ling Kadi, and I said, what can I do? What can I do to make this place better? What can I do to um, spread my message and make everyone else, all my friends, feel comfortable? And uh, she suggested a GSA. So I started SAGA, which stands for Sexuality and Gender Alliance. Um, I just thought that the name would be more inclusive than Gay Straight Alliance. Um, and our mission is really just to educate, um, to advocate, to make everyone in our community feel comfortable. Um, thank you so much to everyone here who has supported us, given us love, and kept us going. It really means a lot. Well, Bianca, there's there's a Open Door Pride member who is a alum of Sevastopol who didn't have what you created, and I think it's appropriate for Derek Demise to say a few words. Derek, just like you, I don't like speaking in front of people, but that's okay. All right, in 1997, I graduated Sevastopol. All right, and I also <laughs> speak super fast when I'm nervous. All right, in 1997, I graduated from Sebastopol High School. My four years in Sebastopol was difficult time, uh, it was a difficult time for me. Just like a lot of LGBTQIA kids growing up in the 80s and 90s, always living in fear of being beat up because we look different, sound different, <laughs> and what others would classify as being weird. But what I would call it is just be me being me. While I was there struggling, um, with who I was as a, uh, as a person, 
It also didn't help that I was one of a few students targeted by school bullies, many with homophobic slurs, but sometimes well, also being sometimes shoved into lockers. But as a big guy, they didn't get me in the lockers, but it still hurt. Um, a student that uh, graduated a year before me, also having the same issues, and as the story goes, Sandy Brown was contacted either by the student or his parents because he needed help finding a safe place, an outlet where he could be himself without the fear of being bullied. That is when Sandy Brown founded the Door County Chapter of PFLAG, and as they say, the rest is history. PFLAG Door County is celebrating 25 years this year. Uh, I believe August is gonna be like a get together, and we just gave out the, our fifth Sandy Brown Award. So we are standing here today, ready yet again to hand out another special award, just like the Sandy Brown Award. Having its connections to Sevastopol School. Okay, the person we are honoring today founded the Sevastopol Saga chapter with a few of her friends because a male friend of theirs was being bullied and they wanted it to stop. And they wanted the school administration to see they needed to do better. In 2019, just weeks before the last Open Door Pride Festival, uh, before COVID, the Sevastopol School Board, unprecedented and unanimous decision, voted to allow the students to re be recognized SAGA group. SAGA stands for sexu Sexuality and Gender Alliance. It takes a lot of leadership and drive and determination to educate and make a group of elected school board officials to understand the need for the school. So a couple months back, when we received nominations for this year's Sandy Brown Award, we received a nomination from a school teacher uh, about, uh, to nominate Bianca Delarwell for the Sandy Brown Award. As a committee, we decided that a scholarship would be better to, uh, use for a graduating high school senior. So Bianca, I'm proud to announce that you are the first recipient of the Open Door Pride Scholarship. Congratulations, Bianca. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> that was a shock. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, I do plan on carrying my mission to college with me. I'm going to UW-Milwaukee. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you. This is Bianca's grandmother. <laughs> Again, on behalf of Sevastopol Saga, thank you so much, Open Door Pride, for all your incredible work and support of students just like these in the entire community. Thank you.